Today, I'm gonna be using the best NBA player per sponsorship to build our team. We have the wheel that is filled with different companies that sponsor NBA players, and this is what we're gonna be using to pick our lineup out. I'm not gonna be the one choosing the players. Now, guys, our goal is gonna be to build a max overall lineup with the players that the wheel gives us. And if we fail to get to max overall, at the end of this video, there will be consequences. So guys, here we go. Let's see what type of sponsorship we get for number one. I mean, I'm hoping for something good off the rip. And oh my goodness, bro. We get Icy Hot. Now you guys know, hey man, if you've seen the ads, you know who I'm talking about. You already know who we're going to go ahead and pick up. So boys, we get Icy Hot as the very first sponsorship. And you guys already know who I'm going with. Like I said, man, there's only one player that comes to mind when this company comes to mind. And that is, of course, Shaquille O'Neal. So we are going to go ahead and pick up Dark Matter Shaq. That is actually a pretty good way to start off the lineup. I mean, we need a big man, so why not pick up Shaq? So guys, the first player we're going with, Shaquille O'Neal. Welcome to the squad. We get a good center to start things off, and I honestly couldn't be any happier. We got Icy Hot, one of the best things on that wheel already. So shout out to Shaq. Welcome to the team. All right, boys, spin number two. Listen, I'm hoping for something like Jordan or Nike off the rip. And right here, we are going to go ahead and actually get Gatorade. Now, there's a few different players we could go with this. Uh, but honestly, I don't know who I'm gonna go with. Let me go take a look. Now, guys, for this one, we are going with somebody who got made fun of years later after he dropped this commercial with this company. And of course, I am talking about Paul George. When he bricked off the side of the backboard in the NBA bubble, everybody went back to his commercial. They were making memes of it. I don't even know why. But listen, man, PG is gonna be the player we add. And of course, because he did this commercial when he was with Indiana, we're gonna go ahead and pick up this endgame Paul George and see if we can add him into the team. So guys, player number two in our team who is going to be starting at the shooting guard position, this beautiful, beautiful endgame Paul George card. This card is absolutely amazing. This card art is fire, and we are going to go ahead and add him as the second player into the lineup. This team is already looking great, and listen, man, we're already, you know, going towards our goal of hitting that 98 overall, which is the max overall that we could get. All right, boys, spin number three. The wheel has been very kind to us so far. Can we get something good once again? We actually get Anta. This is a company that not a lot of people even know about. I know they make shoes for a lot of NBA players. So let me pick one player in specific and see who we're going to add into the team. Now, guys, there's a lot of players that have a sponsorship with this company. We have Alex Caruso. We have Terrence Mann. We have Kevon Looney. We even have James Wiseman somehow. But the one I'm going to go with is, of course, going to be Klay Thompson. We need some shooting on the team. And to be honest, he's been with them the longest. So I felt like, you know, going with the guy who has been with the company the longest, Klay Thompson. We're going to go ahead and pick up his Dark Matter and add him into the squad. So, boys, apparently Klay Thompson has been with the company for nine years, and now he gets to join our team as they're starting small forward for right now. This team is looking great already. Dark Matter's all over the place, and this team is looking really good. All right, boys, let's get back to another wheel spin. I'm hoping for something out of the ordinary, man. Give me Takis or give me Pepsi, and we get Under Armour right here. Hey, man, we know the obvious option, but I'm not going to go with it. No, I'm not going to choose Steph Curry right here. That's just too easy. Guys, obviously, Steph Curry would have been the obvious choice. He has been with that company for the longest. He pretty much put them on the map in the NBA scene, but... We're going to go with somebody who recently won MVP somehow. I'm not too sure how, but we're going to go with another big man to pair alongside Shaq, and that is going to be Joel Embiid. I want to see these two play together on the same team. I don't know why. I feel like it would be kind of unstoppable. So Joel Embiid, we're going to pick up his Dark Matter and welcome him into the team. So boys, Joel Embiid, welcome to the squad. That is the starting lineup so far. We need a point guard. We probably should have gone with Steph to be safe because now we're going to have to pick up a point guard no matter what it lands on to finish out this starting lineup. Let's go ahead and take a look at what the wheel gives us. All right, boys. I actually have no idea what I'm looking for, but we do need a point guard. So we're going to have to go point guard specific with whatever we get right here. And we're going to get, it looks like Anta, and we are going to get Anta once again. That is the second time in the starting lineup, and I have the perfect player to add into the team. Now, guys, I'm going to go with the guy right here that plays point guard, obviously, that is signed with Anta. He recently signed literally just a month ago. It kind of is perfect. It kind of worked out for this video because we definitely needed a point guard. We would have been stuck using some random NBA player, but we get to go with Kyrie Irving. Obviously, you guys know Nike got rid of him, so, you know, he signed with Anta, and that is going to be our starting point guard for our lineup. So guys, that right there is our starting lineup for this team so far. The wheel has done us pretty good, but we are going to do a few different things for the bench. I'm going to show you guys what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and fill this lineup out. So guys, for this next one, instead of going to the wheel, we're actually going to go to the packs. Guys, I'm going to open up one pack, and whatever the player inside the pack is sponsored by, we have to use another player that is sponsored by the same company. So here we go. All right, guys, here we go. This time, we have to pull somebody that has a sponsorship. Please just give us something, bro. We get an amethyst and a pink diamond. I have a good feeling about this. Show me LeBron, matter of fact, bro. Okay, we get Chris Paul. Hey, man, that's a good one right there, and we get Rudy Gobert. I'm just going to throw Rudy Gobert out the window. We're going with Chris Paul. This man has been sponsored by Jordan for the longest time, so we got to pick another player that is sponsored by Jordan to add into our team. Listen, guys, we're going to go with the point guard that is sponsored by Jordan. He's been sponsored for a very long time. He is an MVP, and of course, I am talking about Russell Westbrook. We're going to go ahead and pick up Invincible Westbrook to add into the team. We get a nice backup point guard, or he could low-key start over Kyrie as well. 
So guys, we're going to add Invincible Westbrook to the bench because we obviously got a Jordan-sponsored player. We're going to move him into the starting lineup because he might be better than that Kyrie. And this team is looking great, but I haven't told you guys about the consequences yet. Now, boys, the good thing is we are already at a 98 overall lineup. So that right there is pretty much safe. We're not going to have to lose anything because of that. We're not going to have to spin the wheel of consequences. But we are going to be playing a game at the end of this video. We're going to have three challenges. And for every challenge I fail, I'm going to have to throw up one of these Dark Matters for 500. And we have end games on this team already, so I'm kind of nervous. But let's get back to building our bench. All right, boys, let's go back to the wheel for this one. I want to see something out of the ordinary. I do not want to see a shoe sponsorship brand. And we're going to go ahead and get Adidas, it looks like. You know what? I was actually thinking about picking up this player. I want to try this card out in the game at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and scope him. Now, guys, we are going all out with this team. We are going to go ahead and pick somebody up that got, you know, Adidas sponsorship, obviously, because that is what we landed on. And this man right here is one of the best dunkers in the NBA, one of the most exciting players to watch in the NBA. It is going to be Anthony Edwards. The Invincible Edwards is going to be welcome into our team. I'm excited to use this card. I feel like this card is great. And I haven't been able to hoop with him yet, so welcome to the team. Boys, this team is really nice. Now I'm a little bit nervous to fail any of the challenges because we have a lot of cards on the line. All right, boys, let's go back to the packs for this one. Let's see if we can get somebody that's a little bit out of the ordinary, somebody that's sponsored by a random company. We get a Galaxy Opal in the middle. Let's see what it's going to be. I'm hoping for somebody great because that dude on the right definitely has no sponsorships. All right, boys, number four from the Cleveland Cavaliers. Is this going to be Evan Mobley? I believe it is going to be Evan Mobley. There we go. We get Evan Mobley. I don't know who he's sponsored by. I feel like it's Adidas, but let me go take a look. So, boys, Evan Mobley is sponsored by Adidas. We're going with one of the dudes that has been sponsored by Adidas for the longest time. One of the most loyal players in the NBA, or I should say he was loyal. But, I mean, hey, we understand why he wanted to leave. And we're going to give him that exact opportunity to win with our team. We're going to go ahead and add Damian Lillard to the squad because we pulled Evan Mobley. So, Dame Time, welcome to the team. 7K for this card is an absolute steal. He'll be good off the bench. Real quick, before we get to the rest of the team, boys, make sure if you're not already, hit that subscribe button. We're getting very close to 80K, and that's the goal for the summer. Boys, we're back to the wheel. I want to get something out of the ordinary. It looks like we're going to get Kia right here. It is a Kia sponsorship. Now, I'm not going to lie. One player comes to mind because he jumped over one of their cars in a dunk contest, but let's take a look at who we can go with. Now, guys, listen, I was going to go with Blake Griffin because he obviously jumped over the Kia in the dunk contest, and I feel like that's probably the most iconic moment with this company in NBA history, but we're going to go with something that is a little bit funny. I just had to put it in because I honestly didn't know this, but LeBron James is going to be the player we are going with, and this man was actually sponsored by Kia. He used to have to pull up into the games in a Kia, which is a little bit weird because, I mean, this man... When I've seen him, he's pulling up in Ferraris and Lambo. So, I mean, hey, man, pulling up in a Kia is a little bit funny. But, hey, he got that sponsorship. That's all that matters. We get Adam into the team. LeBron, welcome to the squad. I mean, boys, we're going to go with this playoff version of LeBron. I absolutely love this card. Art. I love the playoffs card. Art, and it's about time that we add a playoff card into this lineup. And he gets to be reunited with Kyrie Irving on this bench as well. So, this team is looking great. All right, boys, let's go with another pack, man. Let's see what type of player we can get from this pack, what type of sponsorships they have. And we're going to get an Emerald in the middle and a Galaxy Opal on the right. Show me something great. We get Paulo Boncaro. You know what? He might be sponsored by Jordan, which will be perfect. Now, guys, Paulo Boncaro is sponsored by Jordan Brand. He signed a huge contract in his rookie year. And another player that is an up-and-coming star, or should I say, one of the best NBA players currently is Luka Doncic. And he is signed with Jordan Brand as well. I believe he has his own shoe that just came out this last year. So, Luka, we're going to go ahead and pick up the interdimensional one. I don't want to pick up the end game because, honestly, I don't feel like that card is even worth it. So, interdimensional Luka, welcome to the team. Listen, boys, this team looks absolutely stacked. We have three more spots to fill. Let's see what else we can pick up. All right, boys, we're back to the wheel, man. Listen, give us something out of the ordinary. Give us something weird. Oh, my God. Perfect. Perfect. No, we almost got Takis. That would have been perfect because I have the perfect player for that. But we get Nike. Let's go ahead and pick somebody up. Now, listen, boys, I don't know if it's just me, but when I think of Nike basketball and Nike basketball shoes, I think of one man and one man only, and that is, of course, going to be Kobe Bean Bryant, man. RIP Mamba. We're going to go ahead and pick up Kobe Bryant and add him into the team. This team is stacked with superstars all over the place. I mean, I can't be mad about adding this Kobe card to the team. Boys, we're spinning the wheel again. Listen, man, I want something absolutely weird. I want something that is completely out of the ordinary, and we get Puma. You know what? We could go with this. Let me go take a look at what players actually, you know, are sponsored by this company. Oh, boys, the obvious answer right here would be Invincible LaMelo Ball. I could go with LaMelo, but you know what? I feel like that's just a little bit too easy. And there's a lot of random players that Puma has actually signed. They've signed DeAndre in, RJ Barrett, DeMarcus Cousins, Kyle Kuzma, even KPJ. But I'm going to go with somebody that is completely different. Listen, boys, it's definitely a weird one, but we're going with Danny Green. Yes, this man is sponsored by Puma, and I don't know why. Maybe it's because he played in Toronto and I watched him a lot, but I always saw him repping Puma. So Danny Green, welcome to the team. It's a bit of a weird one, but why not add a veteran to the team? So guys, for the last spin, I kind of changed up the wheel a little bit. I took out all the big companies like Nike, Jordan, and all that. And I just left kind of, you know, some of the more underrated ones on the wheel. So here we go, boys. We're going to go ahead and spin the wheel. Let's see what we land on right here. I wanted something absolutely weird. And it looks like we're actually going to get, it's between Pepsi and Red Bull. 
and we actually get Pepsi. Oh boys, Pepsi was only LeBron, so I mean, we can't use that. We're gonna spin it again, and we're gonna get State Farm, it looks like. Listen, man, I feel like a lot of NBA players have done commercials with this company, so let's take a look. Guys, we could go with Chris Paul. I mean, listen, I don't wanna go with that little man. I wanna go with somebody that is an absolute giant, and of course, we're gonna be going with the beast himself, Boban, who has been in multiple, multiple commercials. You guys have probably seen him. He's hilarious. He's also pretty much an actor. So you know what? Diamond Boban, I wish he had a Dark Matter card in this game, but Diamond Boban, welcome to the squad. So boys, the very last player to enter our team, Boban, welcome to the team. That is going to be our final lineup right there. We obviously hit the 98 overall pretty easily. This team is looking absolutely stacked. There are superstars all over the place. Now is the fun part. Let's jump into the game. Three challenges. Every challenge we fail, we quick sell the Dark Matter. Let's get into it. Boys, we're playing against Hasbula. Right, guys, the team we are playing is looking okay. You know what? It's looking pretty budget apart from that Yao Ming that I'm a little bit scared of, but... We got four challenges that we need to complete. I'll pop them up on the screen. That is the four we need to do. Here goes nothing, bro. Boys, we get a steal. Here's our chance for a highlight dunk. Can we posterize Laurie Markkinen? Yes, we can. I don't know if that was a highlight dunk. You know what? I'm not going to count it, but it was a nice slam. Boys, we have zero challenges done so far, and I want to get something done this quarter because I feel like if we don't, we might actually fail all of them at this point. We're going to get Boban a bucket, bro. Come on, Boban. You can bully Yao. Boban. Boban to win it. Throw down. We'll take it. There we go. We can at least check off one challenge. Boys, I'm going to try to get one more challenge done. I'm going to have Shaq. Slam it! Oh my goodness, big fella! What a dunk! We'll take that challenge two checked off. There we go. We're halfway there now. Boys, here we go. We have a chance. Edwards, do something flashy! Oh my goodness, the Cradle Dr. J dunk. That has to count, bro. That is definitely a highlight-esque dunk. I genuinely cannot hit a deep three with this dude. He's playing like he's in the bubble again. I don't know what's going on, but I mean, I'm, I'm surprised he hasn't hit the side of the backboard yet. PG, fading deep three. Can't get it to go. You know what? I'm taking that on this one. So, boys, we took the L on that Paul George challenge. Now, I'm a little bit nervous because I do not want to lose his end game. But I'm going to put numbers 1 through 13 on the wheel. Whatever it lands on, whatever it correlates with the lineup, that's who we're getting rid of. All right, boys, here we go. As long as it doesn't land on number 3, that is going to be Paul George. Anybody else, I'm really, to be honest, fine with. And it looks like it's going to land on 9. Okay, it is going to land on 9. Let's take a look at who that is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That is going to be Damian Lillard. It could have gone a lot worse. Hey, man, we're going to go ahead and throw up that Dame for 500. All right, boys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Hey, man, the sponsorships build our team with the wheel. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button like you're new. If, like I said, we're close to 80K. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know what video you're trying to see next. I'll catch you then. Peace.